The best way to accurately place objects in Revit is to first dimension them and then change its position by changing the value of the dimension. Uh, first make sure you are in uh, level 1 floor plan, clicking in the browser window. Move over to the tool tray in basic, choose dimension. Unlike AutoCAD, Revit dimensions objects by their edges and reference lines, not by individual points. So uh, hovering over the object that you want to dimension, uh, we'll highlight it, click to start the dimension, bring it over to the next, click a second time, clicking a third time will place the dimension. I'm going to uh, hit escape a couple times to get out of the dimension tool and zoom in. Now to change the position of the grid, uh, you want to um, select the object that you want to change position of first. Um, once you select the object that you want to move, the dimension will be highlighted. It'll change to blue. That's telling you that you can now change the value of the dimension. Um, click on the text and enter a new value, and this changes the object. Uh, notice that you can't just change the um, position of the object by first clicking on the dimension itself by double clicking on the dimension itself it brings up a dimension text window which is basically like in AutoCAD um, a text override uh, and that will not change the length of the dimension it will just change the name or the value so we'll escape out of that um, using the dimension tool you can um, continue individually dimensioning uh, these grid lines um, as you slide the dimension up and down, Revit will find an alignment of the previous dimension so you can keep them in line. I'm going to escape a couple times so we can move these individually by first selecting the grid line. The associated dimensions will be highlighted. You can change the value in there. If you want uh, all the objects to become equally spaced, there is a second method of dimensioning which you would use. Uh, instead of individually dimensioning these objects, you want to dimension them in a chain. So choosing the dimension tool, start your first dimension, go to your second, and keep going. This time what you're doing is you're creating one continuous dimension chain click to finish. Um, by creating it all in one chain, it gives you the option to equally space all of the objects that have been dimensioned. So if you click on the EQ icon, um, it moves them into position.